guys, welcome back to another vlog. It's been quite an exciting week here. I have really enjoyed um, trying to catch up with everything that's happening here with you. So um, without further ado, I'm going to ask you if you don't mind subscribing. There's a little castle in the bottom of the screen here. If you want to click on that and subscribe or at the bottom of the vlog once you've made it smaller there's a subscribe button it's all free and if you do that for me I'd be so grateful because it would be wonderful to have you on board and share with you what's going on here at the Chateau um, what have we been doing this week um, I have been cleaning out the salon where I'm sitting in now and I've made a place now for me to sit down and relax and when friends come round that we can sit down and have tea here and just be in a comfortable place at the moment. It still needs decorating but we'll get there. So you can see that on the vlog what I've done and the garage studio has been um, nearly finished. We've just got to finish a few things on the roof and the gutters and but the floor has been put in and we're starting to arrange things in there um, for now and so that they're out of the rain and it's in a secure warm place that's been done and a few extra things that has happened oh yes the kitchen arrived for the small kitchen for the winter kitchen upstairs um, but we're just waiting on the carpenter now to come and fit it uh, as you know, working with artisans it's, takes time. And, um, but at least it gives me time now to sort everything out and arrange everything. The big kitchen, which we are planning on, um, we've managed to sort out a lot of the previous owner's clothes and everything out of there and pass things on to charity and some things we've thrown out and some things we've kept for us and the kitchen is slowly emptying out but there's a lot of building material in there still so once that's sorted and i've got plans on it because i've got some interesting plans that i want to do and i'll share that with you as we go along hope you enjoy this vlog and i'll catch you at the end there you go bridget's drawn the short straw and she's gonna have to spray <laughs> she has to spray the um, garage floor that's been installed and underneath the garage um, floor um, the, there's a studio upstairs and she's got to spray underneath the, the um, planks and on top so that we can start arranging the garage to be able to work well good luck Brigitte I've just sorted all the boxes and the furniture into certain place because I want to be able to come and sit in here while it's and wait for it to be renovated so I've put my things out and we're just sorting everything exactly and then I'm going to those are all my mirrors and paintings and everything that I've covered up there and I'm going to arrange a lounge here for me so that we can sit in here and enjoy ourselves in an evening in the lounge until we move up to the apartment upstairs i hate going in sitting in the bedroom and i need to have it out here where we can have friends to come and visit us so i'm quite happy this is the salon and this is the lovely view from the salon There's the driveway, and it's out onto the garden. And yeah, so I'm going to start arranging everything. And then I will show you what I've done afterwards. It took me a whole day yesterday to move and arrange. But now I'm going to polish everything up and just make it livable. So yeah. And that goes out to the hallway and the stairs up there. So it needs a lot of work done to it. Mostly decorating, nothing major. 
and I'm going to get the fires um, swept and the holes patched up again. There's some more holes there. We'll get those patched up. The others have all been patched up now. I just found those when I started cleaning here. And then we'll have a salon to sit in for the time being. So I'll show you when I'm finished. I'm washing this floor and this is the beautiful color it is underneath. I'm gonna try and bring it back to this color. Some spilt stuff here, but we'll try and get it sanded off later when I start this room. But that is amazing. So excited about that. As I walk into the lounge from the, coming in from outside, this is the view you get. I've now finished arranging what I needed to arrange to make it comfortable. So I've made an area for us to sit over here and I'll walk around it and just show you. And just try to make it as comfortable as possible. And then another area here where we can sit down. Now I haven't done anything to this room at all, as you know, and we still got to paint everything, but I needed to make it into a comfortable place just to sit down and relax. And I feel so much happier. Yesterday we had some guests here and we had some tea, afternoon tea, and we were sitting all over there. With the lovely weather, And it was just so lovely with the fresh air coming through. Yeah. And now I've got to decide what colors after they've done all the electrics in here. And then I can start with the decorating. So yeah. Step out this way. You've got the back garden here, and it's just lovely. I really enjoy it out here, sitting here peacefully in the evening and watching life go by. You get some deer running across there as well. I must try and catch them when they on video to share with you guys. Yeah, so this will be my lounge with all my things in it. So when I'm finished, behind there's all the mirrors and the paintings. I don't want to take them out yet until everything is finished. So I hope you enjoyed this little glimpse of the salon. Today we've just had a delivery for the small kitchen from Leroy Merlin. Quite happy with it. And they've delivered the oven over here and the overhead ventilation. Quite excited now, great fun to get all this as we go upstairs. Right. We go upstairs to the left to the small kitchen. And it's a bit dark at the moment. And they put everything in the corridor. And here's everything being stacked here for the carpenter to come and fit the kitchen. Now we have to find out when he's going to come and fit the kitchen. But anyway, it's going to be great fun. Part of renovation. This is where the little kitchen's going to be fitted for the winter. So, wow. So they try, he has to put everything back in a special way in the truck. 
Ça part d'où la rivière Ça part d'où la rivière Ah oui. ouais, c'est pas à côté. Oui. Ouais, c'est pas à côté. So they got to make sure that everything is safe. Ça, on aime bien, on aime bien voyager. Oui. Bien. On fait toute. Euh, Absolutely five star delivery from Leroy Miller. Vous ne savez pas que vous faisiez aussi. Very happy with their services. Thank you, Leroy Merlin, for a job well done again. I'm going to share with you now the color of the cupboards that we are going, the doors. And this is the color of the kitchen. This is a lovely um, gray green color for the kitchen that we're going to use. I, don't, I forgot what the tops were. But anyway, here, yeah, I'm just sharing this with you now. Two ladies on their way to the dechettery. We're all loaded up in the back and we're taking the rubbish across. We're busy with a big clean out, garages, rooms, you name it. So we're on our way and I'll turn this around and show you the countryside. So we're on our way to the dechettery. Down the hill we go, and then we'll climb up the hill again. All the farmers' fields around here, and the woods. Look at that house in the woods over there. And we're coming up to a little pretty little village around here. Bridget's van is a very, very bumpy little van, but it's okay. It gets, we can get things around. It's a pretty little quaint village as you drive through. And in front of us is an ancient limousine house typical limousine house. It's very pretty. And we're up the hill again. And everything in the distance. And now we're going to drive through a very old village of Limousa. Over here apparently there's a bump. Here we go over the bump. It's very ancient. And it's in the area that Bridget grew up. All these beautiful, quaint little houses. And then the beautiful fields out here. Look at that. It's so, oops, another bump. It's so gorgeous. This is so pretty over here. Okay. When we were cleaning out the kitchen, which is over here, and I unpacked these cast iron I found them here and I'm going to put plants in them. They're absolutely beautiful. I found them right here in the in the kitchen in crates. They're absolutely stunning. So I'm going to use them for plants. And if we go up to the top I'll show you now the roof has been completed. There's a few things that needs to be finished off but the guy's on holiday now. So, if I go up the stairs that I found and cleaned up, I'm going to start planting flowers here and make it into a lovely herb garden. And then inside, the new floor's been put in. 
I hope you can see it. So we're going to use this as a workshop come where we keep everything in it. I can walk over this now and we're storing all the building stuff and garden furniture and everything. It would look lovely as a jet one day but at the moment has, we can come in on this door and there's a big door there. So at the moment I'm just using it for storage and woodworking and all my tools in here. And you've got the window over there. You can down to the kitchen door, the back of the kitchen. Let me show you from here. We put some tiles over here and they were lying around so we just put them there. That's the back door and that goes, I'll be changing that to the front of the house soon with a water feature in the middle of the parking lot there. And then it'll look really nice. So slowly, slowly we're getting there. At least this roof was taken off, it was about to fall in. And we wouldn't have been able to use this place if I didn't get it fixed up. This is the back field now, where I'd like to put an orchid of fruit over here and then have some vegetables growing in um, high troughs so that I can make to grow vegetables. But at the moment the next door neighbour has just been giving us a lot of vegetables and it's absolutely delicious and that's their house over there and this is the, my field over here with all the hazelnut trees growing over there as well. And it's just so gorgeous. Sometimes the sheep come in here and feed and it keeps the grass short. And if you just listen, not a sound. It's so quiet. Well, we got to start cleaning trimming the branches of this tree over here so it's not so high and them hanging down in your face as you come down. I'm going to come down the stairs here rather than the ramp. <sighs> I'm so happy here. I hope you enjoy it as well. So I'm going to walk in by the back door. We've still got it. These were the crates that I found those f um, flower pots in. We're still sorting out at the back here and this is all being graded out and we're going to have gravel over there with some grass growing over behind me over here. So yeah and then we're going to have garage doors put on here. The volunteer put this um, roof that was left behind, but I think we'll remove it and put proper garage doors. Let me come into the kitchen here. Where Bridget is busy making Mirabelle jam. So, so I've got the wolves. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed the vlog that I made for you this week and next week I will share with you a controversial subject about working with artisans here in France and then um, you can make your decisions on how you want to work with them and what happens. So hope you have a wonderful week ahead of you and thank you so much if you've come to the end of watching this i really appreciate it and i'll see you on the next vlog bye for now <laughs>